Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Enshrouded. I'm invited to the man. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to acquire, well, maybe not vast, but some more metal scrap. Now you're probably wondering, okay, so what's metal scrap and why do I need that? At the very beginning of the game, you're gonna need wood, you're gonna need some, some scrap, you're gonna need basically leather. But after that, you're gonna free this bastard. This guy is called the blacksmith. And as the name suggests, well, he makes shit out of metal and you need to deliver him said metal because he's way too lazy to leave the base. And well, if you're gonna speak with him, you'll notice that he has, well, he has a forge, he has a charcoal clean, he has nails, he has a better type of an axe, better type of a pickaxe, lockpicks, shields, one-handed weapons, and of course, armor. All of this thing requires metal scraps. Uh, the improved armor also requires something called metal sheets. The shield, metal sheet. All of that thing requires metal scrap. So, the question is, you play the game, you need better equipment. Where you can get the vast amounts of metal scrap? Well, you could try to save and leave the game and reload, and basically that's gonna respawn all of the resources in the world, but you probably need something more effective. So first of all, if you manage to free the blacksmith, get yourself first the improved pickaxe. You're gonna need it. The improved pickaxe is, well, it's maybe not like the best one you can get, but for now, it's the only thing we have. We could try to use the stone one, but I highly recommend that this should be probably like one of the first things that you're gonna get. And if you do, load yourself the map and go to the very first beginning of the game. The Cinder Vault. This is where you start the game. This is where your homies will look, appear actually, if they will decide to actually join you on your map. And this is the place where you can safely acquire metal scrap. Why right here? Well, this place is completely empty of enemies. This is still considered the tutorial area of the map. And, well, it's safe to say that you're gonna have a bit of a peace and quiet over here. So you see those pots? You basically start the game in one of those pots. Once you do that, well, you can get yourself the pickaxe. It's gonna take a while, so be sure that you're gonna be rested. Be sure that you're gonna eat something. Grab yourself a bottle of water. And, well, after a while, if you're gonna keep punching, you're gonna keep punching. Yeah, this actually takes a while. There we go. Is gonna break into metal scrap. Now, as I said, this place is completely safe from enemies, so you don't have to worry that during night time somebody's gonna attack you. You can mine here in peace and quiet. If you're that type of a person that wants to first get some good equipment before you're gonna embark into the unknown, I'm guessing this is probably like one of the better options that you're gonna have. So, yeah, get the improved, uh, improved uh, axe, pickaxe, because otherwise you, you could use the stone one, the 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 one that you start the, the game with. But it's just going to take so much longer. And as you can see, I've destroyed two pots and I've already run out of stamina. So keep in mind that this place is safe, it's secured, it's peace and quiet. You can get your younger brother actually to do this thing for you if he wants to really play. But it will take time. But then again, we have around, I think, 16 pots over here. And every one of those pots should give you three metal scrap unless the scrap is gonna somehow load into the into the floor well tough luck adventurer and the best thing about this place is basically that this ha this thing has a fast travel system so you can fast travel to the cinder vault and then you can quickly fast travel back home if your pickaxe is gonna get damaged too much you want to repair it or maybe your backpack is already full or maybe something else has happened well two clicks and you're back home baby and aside note if you want to get metal sheets you basically need to have this, this blacksmithing table thingy uh, you get it, of course, from the blacksmith, and once you're gonna interact with this shit, you need to give it charcoal, you need to give it metal scrap, and it's gonna make you, uh, the, the metal sheets, right? If you're wondering where to get charcoal, get it from the charcoal clean, that's, this is also the thing you get from the blacksmith. You drop in some dirt, you drop in some, some wood, and it's gonna give you, basically, charcoal. So, yeah, that's how you can craft yourself this awesome gear that I'm currently wearing. Now, the second place is going to be a little bit more adventurous. Now, the second place actually is gonna have enemies. If you free the blacksmith, you probably already know where I'm going. Uh, highly recommending for the next place that you're gonna have the, the grappling hook. It's just going to make the travel a little bit easier. So keep that thing in mind. Now, once you got some basic weapon you could try to do it basically naked or try to do it in the racks you still should be fine but you probably should have the improved pickaxe if you can afford it and some some maybe better weapon just to make the situation a little bit more smooth so once you get the grappling hook go on the bridge 
And well, fast shovel over there. You got, yeah, okay, avoid this ladder because it's always gonna take a second of your time. You don't want that. Shovel through the bridge. It's not that difficult. It's actually quite easy. And remember that metal scrap also comes from, well, surprise, surprise, from the bandits. So if you find yourself a place where bandits spawn, you could try to kill them over and over and over again, and they should drop you some metal scrap. Keep in mind that there's going to be an archer somewhere over here. There he is. So try to get close to him. Water him. And he should also drop you something. There you go. Some metal scrap. Nice. Now, if you're gonna go to the left, you should see this little, little passage. And very soon, you're gonna match next to the vault where the blacksmith was held. There's going to be three enemies in total over here. So keep that in mind. As soon as... Okay, there's one over there. The other one should be somewhere behind him, and the other one is in the vault itself. So kick them! It's not that difficult, especially if you have... If you have better weapons! There you go. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's one. That's two. Right. Loot them. They should have some metal scrap as well. There we go, very nice. If you need to, remember you can also repair your equipment over here, so once you're gonna use your pickaxe... Oh, what up, nice. If you're gonna use your pickaxe, remember that you can repair your equipment over here. So that's also great because you don't have to teleport back to the base if your pickaxe gets too, too, too much damaged. And there's one more guy over here. Hatred Vault, the blacksmith. Kill this guy and basically the area should be safe. Outside of the of the of the shroud soldiers spawning in night time. But at this point you should be able to deal with them, no problem. Kill him, loot him, three metal scraps, nice. Remember, there's a hidden chest over here, so it's always nice to look. There we go, open up. And sometimes... Uh, no, 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 open the door! Thank you. And sometimes in the chest, you're gonna find something cool. It depends. I actually found an epic weapon over here. Okay, this time I was not that lucky. But I found this weapon last time. It's like a 200 axe. It hits like a truck, but it's kinda hard to, to maneuver. But anyway, you see all of those spots? Yeah. Same deal as it was back in the in the starting vault. We can destroy those things and we can get ourselves some more metal scrap. Sure, it's gonna take a while, but if your home is logging in and you want to give him some basic equipment so he's not going to be a burden, he's actually just gonna work his ass. Well, you can either leave him here, go do your shit, or collect this 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 metal scrap for him and give him some basic equipment if your equipment is still in use. Or maybe you decide to destroy it. Or maybe you just require lots of metal at the very beginning of the game for some known reason to me. And you need more. This is one of the few places where you can try to go and get yourself some, some metal scrap. So yeah, all of those pots can be destroyed. There's also a few pots outside of the building. Ah, this one actually. Oh, there it is. You need to keep in mind that the game really likes to teleport shit on the floor. Come on. Come on. I was... I see it. And yes, you cannot destroy the floor, by the way. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, so sometimes this happens. God damn it. The simple rule is this. If you hear metal hitting over metal, then probably there's a high chance that that thing is gonna drop you metal scrap. So, this is one of the places that you can also try to, to loot for, for metal scrap. There should be some more pots on the tower over there. And some more pots lying on the towers on the, over there as well. And, well, more pots over there. Look out for the bees, by the way. If you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna engage them, well, you have to probably like, defeat them. If you manage to do that, there's also one more area over here where you could try to look for some more metal. But for this one, you're actually gonna need the, the grappling hook. There's no other way to access this area without having the grappling hook. Can you please get off me? Thank you. So you have to approach this place. And there's a grappling hook thingy over here. Go up here. Jump over. There's an enemy over there, so try to reach him. Yeah, you're gonna probably get that. That's okay. That's one. And he should drop you some crap. Okay, metal scrap over here. Metal scrap from his corpse. And there's his friend walking down there. So you could try to also kill him for some more metal scrap. And if I recall, there should be some chests around here. You could try to loot for more metal scrap. It's not always an option, by the way. But, I think... Yeah, in the battles you'll find some. On the corpses you should, you should find some. Uh, I believe this thing should also drop you metal scrap. No, this one just drops you drops you wood. But this thing... Ah, this animal's not that lucky. 
Maybe this thing actually drops you? Should drop you. No, it does not. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a... It's not as effective, but then again, you get yourself a chest over here. Ooh! Thank you. And this shit should give me some metal scrap, because it's actually made out of metal. So feel free to break it. And remember to loot it. It's, you know, it's like the little amounts that matters. <laughs> At the very beginning of the game, you don't have too many options. If I need the third place, well, the third place is gonna require a lot of fighting. So for, for the for the for the third place, I actually recommend that you can have a decent armor. You're gonna have a decent weapon, and you also need the grappling hook. I mean, you do? Yeah, you need the grappling hook. There's there's no other way. So the grappling hook is basically like the second item you should try to get after you get the the better pickaxe. So you have to travel all the way across. There's the bridge that I have traveled last time. Look out for the bees, and you're gonna see those ruins or whatever this thing is right over here. Now you could try to use the ladder. For the first part, but the second part actually is gonna require you to grab it, so I'm just gonna speed up this thing a little bit. There we go. Alright, so the first part is over. I don't think you're gonna get any meta uh, scrap from this place, but it's always nice to check, just in case. Uh, there's a hidden chest here if you really want to. You should always, um, yeah, okay, you're gonna find some healing potions, some arrows, maybe some bombs, depends. And this is the place you're looking for. Now keep in mind, there should be a wolf over here and there should be an archer. Those guys, however, are on level 3. And look out for the battles. If he's gonna shoot the battle, they're gonna explode. How do I know? Trust me, I know. So wait for the wolf to come first. Come on. Come on. Come on, puppy. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Okay, this one's a free. There we go. Because I have better equipment, that's not big of a problem. And now time for the big event. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so. We got one metal scrap, that's okay. Now, since there are battles around here, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> and blow us to smithereens! Remember this one as well? Why about this one? Because there's a chest inside. Oh, well, an axe. Always nice to have. And you should be able to destroy those things over here, and they should drop you, I think. Sometimes they should drop you metal. Sometimes they don't. Go back inside, check here, because well, after the explosion you should try to get some stuff as well. Maybe some wood, maybe some other crap. Old books, I don't know what the old books are for, so just saying. And some metal scrap should be actually up here, if I recall. Should be, or maybe I'm actually wrong at this point. Well, you're gonna get yourself some bombs at least. And if that's not enough... You can travel up this road, right behind this, those ruins that you have just made. If you're gonna follow up the road up here, you're gonna reach a little bigger scavenger encampment. And inside, you should find, I think, three guys. Yeah, but keep in mind that those guys are actually like level three. So they're a little bit harder to kill. A little bit. Not for me, though. That's one. There's the second one, and the should, third one should be somewhere around here as well. Hi, how are you doing? Ow. That's one. Oh, no, okay, I was actually mistaken. Now, remember that we can blow up the, 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 the bombs as well, so one over there. Okay, that's gonna blow up. And there should be a barrel over here as well. Blow up. And I think that's all of them at the very moment. Yeah. So, after you're gonna destroy it, some of those things should actually drop you some metal. It's not always the rule. Most nice to check. See? So, for some owners, it means out of the chest, those like wooden scrap, I mean metal scrap. And of course, loot the corpses, because they should always, always give you something as well. Uh, let's see. Okay, nothing over here. Four metal scrap, nice. And if I recall, I'm not quite sure. Actually, I never checked though. Can you destroy the tower and get some metal scrap? I don't think this actually is gonna give you metal scrap, but so it's nice to check. Well, sadly, I didn't found this time too many, too many metal scrap bots. It's always something, right? So if you're looking for ways to acquire metal scrap at the very beginning of the game and you don't want to f travel too far away, I'm guessing those are your options. So the scavenger cap over here, the small outpost over here. The ancient vault with the blacksmith over here. And of course, the cinder vault over here. Now, obviously, you could try to find metal scrap in those enshrouded 
uh, basements, like one over here, right next to your encampment. But to be honest, to be honest with you, I think that the abandoned encampments and the cinder vault are a little bit more effective when it comes to actually mining. Oh, also remember about the passage over here. And well, to be honest with you, as I said, uh, if I'm actually farming metal scrap my, on my own myself when I need it for armor and stuff, I just go to those places. I clear them up. I save the game. I load the game, and rise and repeat. And, well, you got the chest, so sometimes you're also gonna find some interesting equipment. As I said, I found uh, this really cool ass epic weapon last time. And now we have found actually the wand as well, I believe. So, <laughs> scorching wand. Not quite sure how this is supposed to work. But hey, maybe one day I'm gonna figure out this thing. But that's gonna be the thing I'm gonna probably leave for the future episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you all. In the next video.